Last weekend, junior 157 pounder David Bonet posted a perfect 3 0 record in some real tough home matches. But the most impressive victory came with his first win over a ranked opponent this season. David scored an early takedown and then hung on to defeat the 11th ranked Stephen Monk for a 3 2 decision. Brad Wells sat down with a competitive wrestler who's eager to get back to the NCAA championships. Last year, David Bonet qualified for the NCAA championships after placing second at 157 pounds at the West Regional. He recorded three wins over wrestlers ranked higher than him, including a pin over 11th ranked Derek St. John of Iowa. While 2011 was a great year for David, he's ready to make 2012 an even better one. I like that he, he wrestles hard. I mean, that's, all I, that's really what I ask of our guys. Wrestle hard, fight for seven minutes, and good things will happen. And, 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 you know, he's a guy from Louisiana who maybe doesn't have the big, you know, the number one by his name coming out, you know, the big blue chip prospect, but he works his tail off. He's very persistent, and he knows what he wants to get. And, and last year was, you know, it was a good jump for him to go to the national tournament, win a couple matches. Um, but now it's time, and we're telling him, it's time you can be the guy that's on top of that podium. And I, I know he's starting to believe it now. I know he's starting to believe it. I can see it. I can see it in his practices. He's been very consistent in practice. So I'm, I'm excited about what he's doing. Um, for, for us, the big thing is just going to have to be just watch over him a little bit to wear himself down because he wants to do so much. So it's, always, it's a good thing to have to hold the reins on a guy a little bit than have to whip him. So, um, but he, he's done a real good job, and, and uh, I, like, I like his chance at 157. The state of Louisiana is not exactly known for producing highly ranked wrestlers. David knows this, and this is why he competes with a chip on his shoulder every time he steps onto the wrestling mat. I've always had a chip on my shoulder from the time I was little to now. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, 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 it's always in the back of my mind a little bit, you know, especially when I wrestle with some of these Iowa boys, you know. Louisiana, they have wrestling, you know, and, you know, you get all these comments, you wrestle Gators, it's like, yeah, I wrestle Gators, yeah, whatever, but, uh, yeah, it's always been there, you know, it's kind of, I've always, people not really always thought I could accomplish a little bit and kind of speculated, you know, a little bit what I could do, I think I've, uh, so far, I think I've, you know, quieted a couple people about that, I'm going to do a, quiet a couple more people about it too. The 157-pound junior is quickly gaining respect in the college wrestling community. He was recently awarded the WWC's Wrestler of the Week honor after an outstanding performance over the weekend where he posted a 3-0 record. But there is much more to accomplish. Uh, you're not satisfied. You get satisfied, you won't be as hungry. You know, uh, it gives you something to strive for, to push, to kind of quiet the haters I guess you could say. David has worked his tail off in the wrestling room and he is actively involved in the resurgence of the UNI wrestling program. It is because of this dedication and commitment that he believes that he'll be an All-American for the UNI Panthers. He's a hard worker that's that's no doubt you see him in the room he's always in there working hard trying to build on his lead trying to build on what he's good at so that's what he's going to be good at. Like mixing it up with him really, you know, shows you, you know, how much more hard you need to work and the level you need to take your game in order to become a good wrestler. And Bonet is going to be a good wrestler, and he's trying to be a great wrestler, and he's working towards that right now. And he's got Coach Schwab getting the most out of him to the point where he will be a great wrestler.